The shit I can't control, I'm letting go, I'm trying to, I'm only human. here on Love Suhaiti TV. Today I wanted to talk about things that we have to let go of, things that we cannot control and what to do about it in the moment when we just want to go ah! So a little backstory about why I decided to talk about this topic. A couple of days ago I was at a doctor's appointment with my son and my son's father. We are not together. We co-parent pretty amicably despite some hurt on my part. <laughs> But c'est la vie. Right after the appointment and even during the appointment, my son kept basically telling me and his dad that he wanted us to do something together. I mean, granted, he's four years old, so he didn't use those words, but he kept saying, mommy and daddy, let's go home. Mommy and daddy, let's go home. So as some of y'all might guess, that is pretty heartbreaking to hear your child or children wish for something that you can't give them because you can't control the situation and you definitely can't control someone else. That's not to say I'm trying to get back together with my ex. Oh, hell no. The thing is that when you can't control a situation and you have to let go, it doesn't mean that other people in your life aren't affected. I'm affected, but my son is also affected. So what do I do in those moments when I feel like I am out of control and I am emotionally hurting and potentially what's out of my control is hurting the people that I love. I overcompensate y'all. I kid, I kid, I do not buy my child's love. <laughs> what I do in those moments is pray uh, that I can make it through. And I also pray to check in with myself to make sure that the decisions that I'm making when I feel out of control in this situation, in my work, wherever it is, with friends and family, that it I'm not making decisions based on my ego, my pride, and based on just like this need to be right or to prove someone wrong. The second thing that I do when I am out of control is that I cry. Ay, 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 canta y llore. Why do I cry? I cry to release. I cry to let go. I cry because crying is one thing in that moment that I can control. And I choose to stop when I want to stop. So it is a way for me to just process and it is a way for me to stop suppressing all the emotions that I control while I'm in situations that I can't control because I'm not trying to be reactive. The third, <laughs> the third thing that I do when I feel like I can't control something and it's hurting people that I love and it's hurting myself is that I work. I come here on YouTube, I share my stories, I hope that it motivates and inspires, I ask you to subscribe because I haven't asked that yet. I bury myself in work, which might not be the healthiest thing to do, but I did cry before. So, you know, I release the emotions and then I get to work to just kind of, again, give me something that I can control. And honestly, I'm really fortunate to love what I do. So for me, working is an outlet. So I recommend that if there is something in your life that you cannot control that is hurting you or hurting people in your life and you can't change the situation, I really recommend to find an outlet, whether that's kickboxing, crying, writing in a journal, just let it out because if you don't let it out, it's gonna eat you up. The last thing I'm gonna say is realize that this is going to be an ongoing battle. It is really hard to not get bitter. It is really hard to not sit in that muck and in those feelings of hurt and anger. So just realize that this isn't going to just be a day. This is probably gonna be a situation that you're gonna have to deal with ongoing, if not forever, depending on your situation. Obviously, if it's a job situation, you can control that by leaving and finding a new job. But when it comes to feeling out of control in relationships, whether you're with the person or not, if you have children involved or if it's a family member or if it's, you know, even a best friend, unless you're going to cut that person off, which in some cases you really can't, you're going to have to sometimes suck it up and you're going to have to find ways to detach so that it doesn't hurt you any further. And of course, of course, make sure to love yourself. 
Love yourself enough to walk away. Love yourself enough to say, you know what? This is bothering me. Your shit is not my shit. I'm tired or your shit. And I am, I don't have to tolerate it anymore. That's one thing you can't control. You can't control walking away. You can't control how you react. You might not be able to walk away for whatever reason. You might have to still deal with this person that you can't control that infuriates you or drives you up the wall or makes your life a little harder. But what you can do is check your reactions because, because you can't control the dynamic. You can't control your narrative. Sometimes all you need to change a dynamic in a relationship is to do something different, is to say something different, is to react differently. And oftentimes that sets things in motion because then they cannot react to you and talk to you and behave with you the way they have in the past because you're not the same person. You're not giving them what they're expecting and that's like BAM! So go on y'all, press the subscribe button, turn on notifications, make sure to come back right here, Love Sweetie TV, and let me know in comments what you think about this topic. Share, 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 comment, 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 subscribe, 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 I've already said that a bunch of times, and make sure to come back for more, I love Suhiri TV.